Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees and today I want to talk about a food that is uh, or a fruit that's very well known here to South Florida but not known to other parts of the country as much and it's one of the most expensive fruits you can buy it's not that easy to grow, it's in the Anona family, it's called Adamoya Adamoya along with sugar apples are some of the less popular Adenoia fruits, uh, but maybe for that reason they're so expensive. But I have several trees that I'm going to look at today. I haven't had a lot of success with with growing these, but I'm hopeful and remaining hopeful. If anyone has any tips or suggestions uh, about growing Adenoias and sugar apples, please post the comments below to help me and others. And let's go. Here we go. All right, everybody, this is my first Adamoya tree. It's called a Lisa Adamoya, I, be Adamoya, I believe. Uh, and this one hasn't given me many fruits over the years, maybe one or two. And there's a beetle that affects the Adamoyas, so you need to bag them or it's not going to work out too well. Now, this tree will get big. The roots are shallow, but the tree will get big. And... I have been cutting that back. So that they say if you hand pollinate the flowers when they do come out, which is usually in the spring or summer, you'll get better fruit here in the fall, which is now, which is the time when, when they should be fruiting. So that's that one. Now here is probably the, one of the most popular Adamoyas. This is called Gefner Adamoya. And this tree I've been cutting back as well, and I haven't had too much success in a few fruit that have come out from this tree. Actually, the beetle got it, or the bug got it, and they destroyed the fruit. So this year, I decided to bag the fruit that I see on there. So that's what it looks like, if you can see the fruit in there. And I'll show you a picture on the screen also what it looks like. But there's one fruit, and there's three more fruits in there. And there's one over there. Not a lot of fruit for a tree this size and for the real estate of the tree, but I have seen people with a big tree and with a good amount of fruit, so I'm hopeful that things will get better with this tree. We'll see how it goes. I do have some spider webs up there I'll take off, but I don't think that's affecting the fruit. And then I have this tree here, which I've actually never gotten fruit off this tree. And this tree is like five years old. It's another Geffner. Much smaller than the other tree. But this year I got a good amount of fruit for this size tree. So you saw that last tree that I showed you had about four or five fruit. And it was a much bigger tree. And this one has about 12 or 13 fruits. And it's a very small tree. So that's very promising. So I got them in the bags. Hopefully the beetle won't penetrate them because that's what, if you grow these fruits, will destroy the fruits. We'll see how that one does. I had another Adamoya, uh, what was it? it was actually a sugar apple that I got rid of because the fruit was really small and every year it was getting destroyed. But we'll see how this one does now. I have a seedling Adamoya in the other yard, and I also have a sugar apple called, uh, it's a red sugar apple, and it's called uh, Kampong Moav, which I get a good amount of sugar apples on those, but I haven't had as much success with the Adamoya. So I wanted to make this video, and I wanted to get tips and suggestions on Adamoya. And if they are growing like they are now, anything I could do extra to it? Do you all spray your trees? Do you fertilize your trees? Or do you just bag the fruit and hope it comes out? Uh, so I just wanted to make this video and discuss this fruit because this is one that, well, I see more people trying to grow sugar apple than Adamoya, but Adamoya is one that you know, there's different types. There's the Priestly, there's the Dream. These are different varieties. Uh, so maybe some varieties do better in other places, but they are a tropical fruit that can only go in a tropical environment. Speaking of an owner, look what I just picked from my tree. 
I got a soursop, a nice size soursop. So I have three soursop trees and only one of them is currently giving me fruit. It's the one that always gives me fruit. So we'll see how the other ones, the other ones do, but I'm happy with that. And I'll be happy if I get out of Moya. So I just wanted to make this quick video to get your feedback and your suggestions about the Atamoya. So before I end this video, I wanted to come to my friend Leaf's yard who sells fruit trees and he probably has uh, the most success in not only growing the Anonas and his Atamoyas, but he also sells the trees pretty much all year. He's in stock of Atamoyas. I'll put his link below if you want to get them. Now you can get uh, Anona trees and Atamoya trees uh, from different locations and different nurseries, but I know uh, Leaf consistently has a good stock of the different varieties. We're in his backyard now and he also knows how to take care of them. So when you get a tree, he's always there for, to tell you the best ways to get the most fruit. Now he just harvested uh, much of his fruit. He had a good amount of fruit on his trees uh, and he always gets a good amount of fruit on his trees. That's why I'm here. I do not get a good amount of fruit on my trees. This is his Gefner Atamoya. And two things uh, to notice. It is not tremendously big, and there's not a lot of fruit in here now. There's a few left, but he said a couple of weeks ago he had a ton. The key is with the Atamoyas is hand pollinating them. If you want to get a tremendous amount of fruits on the Atamoyas, hand pollinate them. And on YouTube, there's many different videos that show you how to best hand pollinate them, uh, but that is the answer, and leaf hand pollinate is is Atamoya trees and this is why he gets so much fruit but he also keeps these fruit trimmed and he said you have to on these trees keep them trimmed if you want a good amount of fruit as well so he keeps them this is a one of the perfect sizes for the tree I'll turn the camera around and just show you here pan out here and show you because he has other trees so it might be hard to, to see but that's the size of his tree and We've done some other videos on the best way to keep these small and trim these, but but there it goes. Now, he has another tree here, which is a multi grassed tree with many different varieties. There's still one variety right there. So I'll put the different types of varieties of Atomoyas below in the description. But this one, this tree, is on the bigger side, or at least taller side. But it still has some fruit on here. There's three varieties of Atamoya on this tree. And again, hand pollination is the key when it comes to these Atamoyas. Now, as you can see, he doesn't bag his fruit. And he, he doesn't have much of a problem with that. So that's optional if you want to bag the fruit or not. But you must hand pollinate if you if you want to get fruit on the atomoyas. Now as I said, Leap has all these different varieties of atomoyas for sale on a regular basis. I'll put this Facebook link, that's the best way to contact them below. But I asked him, what if somebody doesn't want to hand pollinate? Well it's not that if you don't know how, if you don't know how you can always go and find out. But if you don't want to, so it takes more maintenance of the anonas, what's the best anona to get if you're not going to hand pollinate? And in that case, he said sugar apple uh, would be your best bet, uh, uh, less work. Uh, but the Anonas, they will take uh, more time because you've got to hand pollinate them. But if you do, they will reward you greatly. So that's what I'm going to do. If I decide to keep my trees next year, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, hand pollinate them some more. I hand pollinate a little this year. Uh, but I'm happy with the amount of fruit on at least one of my trees, but the other trees... Uh, not so much, and the leaves are, I just don't have anything, so I definitely got to either hand pollinate or, or consider maybe they're not the best tree for my yard, but I like it that it's a small tree, you can keep it small, it will get a good amount of fruit, and that's the key to success here. So this is a man who knows about these Atamoyas, and that's why I wanted to come here and show you this as well, so I showed you mine and show you his. Remember, contact him if you want to get some of these varieties. If you have a good sized yard and you're willing to do the extra work of hand pollination, uh, excellent tree to have. Tastes amazing. And also, you can keep them small. So that's cool if you're doing high density. All right, everybody, put your comments and questions below. 
Thanks for watching. Until then, have a great day and keep growing.